Hey, what's up, YouTube? Monk's Flood here. Um, we're gonna drink some beer and uh, do a little review of it. Uh, I've never done one of these, so it should be interesting. I don't know if people watch these or anything like that, but this is something I'm passionate about and uh, I enjoy doing. So, you know, maybe that's something uh, you guys would watch. And if it is, please um, comment. Thumbs up, whatever, subscribe. I don't know what else you guys can do. Uh, follow me on Twitter. Uh, I'm a Twitch streamer. So it's twitch.tv backslash monks underscore blood. And today we have Licking Hole Creek. And this beer is called Nugget Nectar. Nuclear Nectar. No. Nuclear Nugget. That's what it's called. Let's see if we can get a thing of the cans great labels these guys make great labels uh they're out of richmond i'm assuming all of this is blurry on my end uh, don't know if it is on yours but um it's an imperial honey ipa i also have a couple of the other beers um what is the one? There's another honey IPA. Because this is a. Um, I think it says on here. Imperial Honey IPA. 10.5%. There's another honey IPA beer that's like really sought after. I want to say it's Trogues. Here, let me. Crack that open so you guys know. I'm not, I'm not joking around out here. Um, okay, so I googled Honey IPA and it's just like, oh, right here, this guy does. This guy did a beer review of this already. Oh, that was a long time ago. Okay, Hop Slam is Hop Slam the one? Hop Slam might be the one. Look at that color. That's, that's a dark multicolor for malt. Multicolor. Not multi. Most IPAs are uh, super yellow, you know? And especially nowadays with all the hazy, so they're like a cloudy, like a cloudy yellow. This is more of an amber, amber color to it. Beautiful. Look at all those suds. Um, I prefer wine glasses. I don't know why. Uh, stemless wine glass. I drink a lot of wine now too, so it just makes it just makes sense, you know. It makes dollars is what it does. I like. I prefer to pour my beer, especially like an IPA. There's gonna be some sediment there. I prefer to pour it into a um, a glass. What is going on here? Yeah, it's Hop Slam. Bell's Hop Slam. That's the one that's similar. Or the one that's super sought after. Which one day this might be a uh, super sought after beer. Because it's delicious. So, you smell it just like just like tasting wine. You know, you, you smell it, see what's going on there. This actually was sitting out um, when I got home from work. I like my beers to get a little more warmer. You can kind of see. Or not really see, but you can taste. Um... Taste a little bit more. Oh, wow. Woo. Honey's not cheap either, by the way, guys. I wonder how much honey they used to make this beer. Pop this guy off. Um, So a little more about me and my brew history. I've been drinking craft beer for a while now. Let's see if this works. Um, I've got a lot more into wine as of the late. Look at that. Look at that makeshift little stand there, man. We're doing this on the fly. Um, wow. Good head. It's alive. You know, it's it's cooking. This isn't fairly fresh beer, too. Uh, 917. And a month. Actually, exactly a month. Exactly a month old.
pretty pretty strong um for a double ipa <sighs> yeah i'm definitely getting the hops the bitterness now pretty bitter i don't know what the ibus are on this are i should take a look um well look at old creek i they're not distributing i don't think as of right now um i know they do a lot of the farmhouse like a lot they grow some things that they use and they do have a good barrel program um there's a couple other beers that i picked up while i was there um right here great commander imperial stout ale with spices aged in oak rum barrels cocoa vanilla cinnamon cayenne New Mexican an Ancho Chili Serrano Peppers. 60 IBUs. Another fantastic label. Um, big Boy Bottle. This is a, it almost seems like a wine bottle, like a 750 milliliters. Fruit and bottled, looking old creek, yeah. Uh, one pint, 9.4 fluid ounces. So pint 16. Plus nine. 20, 25 ounces. Interesting. This is 13.5. 13.5% imperial stout. And rum barrels. So it's going to be and a lot of spices. I hope that has some heat to it. I love a good hot, hot, spicy beer, you know? Um, so I started out drinking high percent beers um more of a was a booze hound when i was younger you know when you're younger you're just looking for something to just get you all tore up which is dumb but over time you start going to these craft beer shops you start seeing labels start developing and buying new things right so right now i'm really into um like funky sours super sour uh beers and uh, the expensive stuff is what, unfortunately what it is. Uh, Belgian lambics and things of that sort. Um, obviously, I love stouts. Who doesn't like a good IPA, you know? The um, thing I don't like, the price. They're expensive. Very expensive. This is warmed up a little bit. Delicious. Strong. Strong. You can definitely tell. You're like, oh, okay. You're not throwing this back. Uh, four pack would... I feel like a four pack of this would be... Um, pretty rough. Pretty rough to finish. You drink all four of those. You're in for a fantastic adventure. Um, let me see real quick. Give it... Give that... But yeah, shoot shout out to them. Um, I've, my buddy lives up there and uh, would always go to the brewery and bring back bottles and we drink them. So this is a fantastic brewery. Um... Support them if you guys are local. This is in uh, Richmond. Out, right outside of Richmond. Knowles Point. Knowles Point. Uh, let's see here. First time visit. There's a couple of Yelp reviews and things like that. I'm not going not gonna to do anything about that. I'm here to review that. This beer. Bam. And just to give you a little blurb. It's beautiful. Um, check them out. Follow them on Instagram. Do all those awesome things. Thanks. Okay, let's see here. Yeah, Farm Brewery, yep. Mention that. Yeah, it is hard to find. Small batch flavor. Okay, that's awesome. Yeah, they do um, care a lot about their ingredients. Uh, I think they try to grow a lot of their stuff on site, which is awesome. And uh, I think that's the way we should go. Um, what else? I think that's probably going to do it for me. Um, look at that. It almost looks like an uh, amber ale now. That's that, that's that good honey. You know what I'm saying? That's that good honey. Bees are the most underpaid. Don't you think? In all the animal kingdom? Takes a lot of bees to make some honey, man. A lot of bees. Well, that's delicious. 
I didn't eat dinner yet, so this is gonna get crazy. Um, so guys, follow me. Follow me on Twitch. Twitch.tv. I stream almost every single morning, 9.30 Eastern. Twitch.tv backslash monks underscore blood. Well, you guys, if you're watching this video, you probably know about 21st Amendment and that triple. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I'm going back to it more. Plus, I have a beard, so you know I know craft beer, right? You see a stranger, a beer store, nine times out of ten. Do with a beard, just browsing around, looking for stuff. Um, that's what all these overlays are for, my Twitch Twitch channel. But I think I'm going to do more of these. It's something I like doing. Um, I like drinking beer. Um, the only reason I, I normally do it live, because you have the Twitch chat. We can interact a little bit more. This is kind of a little solo, me and the camera. Mono. Imano. Uh, quick video. Nice. Nice. I like that. 11 minutes. Perfect. In and out. Bing, bang, boom. So do that. Check me out there. Hit me up on Twitter. Twitter, Monk's Blood. You'll find me. I think there's an underscore in it. Maybe I should put that in like the notes or whatever. I also have a Discord, Instagram, a uh, bunch of other things. There's, I'm easy to find. I'm easy to find. All right, guys. That's going to do it for me here. We're going to go live, play some Black Ops 4. That's what I've been streaming now. Uh, I usually play a lot of Heroes of the Storm. Um, and Fallout 76, when that comes out, I am a beta member, so October 30th is when that drops, that's in about two weeks, two weeks, we'll probably do a YouTube video with some actual gameplay footage, we might do a little, uh, Black Ops video here in a little bit too, so tune in for that, that should be exciting, um, I have a whole closet full of beers, I don't know if I'll be breaking them out for these videos i might depending on what kind of feedback and uh ooh, ooh, good burp good burp cheers guys and uh i need a catchphrase you guys think of anything let me know hit me up in the comments later